Hey folks, so first of all, we've got the Tinkerboard 2 gigabyte and the Tinkerboard S. So 2 gigabyte. I mean, this is the this is the original model. They call it the 2GB and then we've got the S as well. Before I start, I want to mention that we have a coupon code. If you want to head on over to ameradroid.com, we all know and love them. Uh, you can save up to $25 off of this board if you use the coupon code ATBS dollar sign 25 off just like you see on your screen down there this one here we can save seven dollars atb dollar sign seven off got it okay so first of all we're going to jump into the tinkerboard the this is the original tinkerboard packaging this is the tinkerboard two gigabyte and let's just jump right into it folks I'm really excited about these because ASUS has taken the form factor of a Raspberry Pi and said, okay, well, let's actually give it a little bit more powerful, uh, a little more power, um, and definitely, you know, two, two times the amount of memory on this board. So we've got two gigabytes of onboard memory. We've got 4K video output at 30 frames per second. We still have a Raspberry Pi... Uh, GPIO. However, the Tinkerboard, as you see, is quite cleverly color coded, and uh, it's a it's a lovely looking board if you if you can say that. But if you can see it, it looks very very much like a Raspberry Pi or a Raspberry Pi three as far as the form factor goes, and so much so we're going to see tonight that it's in fact so similar that it'll work in the uh, in the case. What else do we have in the box for the Tinkerboard 2 gigabyte. We've got a heatsink and some paperwork instructions, which we'll just kind of put back in the box. Okay, Jeff? Okay. <laughs> He's like, read the manual. All right, so there is the Tinkerboard, and now let's get into the Tinkerboard S. So this is the next model, and this is kind of, I would say that this is an enhanced version of the same board. What do we notice? It, it looks the same. It looks... Like identical. Identical. Like. Be careful. <laughs> Label them. Whatever you need to do. Make sure you know what, what one is what. So on the right-hand side of your screen, that is the Tinkerboard S. On the left-hand side of your screen is the Tinkerboard 2 gigabyte. What about underneath? Is there different identification on the bottom? What is different here? Oh, okay, the so color. Yeah, we've got green on the Tinkerboard. And what does it say? I'm going to turn this around so I can see it. It says revision 1.2. On this one, it's blue. Blue text okay. on the, the PCB. And it says, strangely, revision 1.01. .01. Huh. Wait a minute. This is a lower revision. However, it does say Tinkerboard S. Let's get a focus on that so that you can see. Oh, yeah. There it is. So it says right on it, Tinkerboard S revision 1.01. .01. In the box, again, heat sink for the CPU, the, or the, uh, the SOC, and some information. I saw that there is a diagram for the, uh, the GPIO, which is important for us if we're going to start making. And let's get rid of the box, get rid of all the packaging. Okay. Specifications wise, the SOC on both of these boards are identical. So this is 1.8 gigahertz. And the SOC of these boards is the RK3288. Uh, that is a quad core uh, uh, SOC. On the board, we have two gigabytes of DDR4 RAM on both of these boards. So, so far, they're identical. Same SOC or to put that in terms that we understand a little better, we'll say CPU, system on chip is SOC. Um, so it's like a CPU that has, uh, that is for the, uh, the, the single board computing. We've got two gigabytes of, uh, and I said DDR4, I, I beg your pardon, it is DDR3 on these boards. The GPU is actually pretty impressive at 4K30, uh, I believe it is. It's a Mali T764 on both of these boards. So again, they're identical up to this point. 802.11 B, G, and N Wi-Fi is uh, integrated into both of these boards and gigabit Ethernet. So if 
we're looking at this from the perspective of a Raspberry Pi, and people are saying on YouTube, you know, why do you constantly compare these single board computers to Raspberry Pis? And part of that is because we're all familiar with a Raspberry Pi, yes? Mm -hmm. yep. We can agree that we all know what a Raspberry Pi looks like and how it operates and what it is and its form factor. So if I say, hey, this is the same form factor as a Raspberry Pi, or this is the same shape and same size as a Raspberry Pi 3, you can grasp what that means. And so I'm not saying, I'm not trying to compare to a Raspberry Pi, but it's a benchmark, and they've certainly sent, set the bar for single board computers. And both of these systems are so close in form factor to a Raspberry Pi 3 that you can, in fact, use a Raspberry Pi case for these devices. Cool. Oh, that's handy. As I mentioned, both have the color-coded GPIO, which is helpful if you are a tinkerer, but why then? If these are so identical, they've got the same SOC, they've got the same amount of RAM, the same type of RAM, the same, uh, the same Mali graphics adapter, they've got great audio. These actually have uh, fantastic audio, 192 24-bit HD audio, so 192 kilohertz. Um, so it's, it's like better than CD quality, um, excellent audio coming off of both of these boards if you want to use them for audio or uh, like if you want to put this in as a, like a music player or something like that on your, on your home theater system, be perfect for that. So what sets these two apart? Well, the Tinkerboard S takes things a little bit to the next level. Let's look at the back side of the Tinkerboard and the Tinkerboard S. We see that both of these have a micro SD card reader. Do you see this? Mm -hmm. So this is going to take your storage. However, there's one thing that's a little bit different on the S model. And I think that's what we're looking at right there. We have, in fact, 16 gigabytes. Now, we do have the SD card reader, micro SD, but we also have 16 gigabytes of eMMC storage built into this board. So this is something that we oh, have nice. not seen in a lot of SBCs. Typically, we have to buy extra storage for our SBCs. This one has 16 gigabytes built in. So where we would normally have to flash to an eMMC card or to a, an SD card, with the Tinkerboard S, we in fact can plug in an, an, OT, like an OTG cable or a, a USB cable into the, uh, into the board, fire it up, and actually flash directly to the eMMC that is on chip. So the storage is built in. We don't have to buy that separately. It's all there. It also has Bluetooth 4.0 plus EDR. Um, so if you want to use it with wireless speakers, wireless headphones, those kinds of things, or any other Bluetooth device, that is built into the S. And those are kind of the core differences with those two boards. This is just an enhanced version with the eMMC, with the Bluetooth, and uh, otherwise they're pretty much identical as far as I can see. So I mentioned that uh, we can actually use a Raspberry Pi case. So I've pulled out a KKSB case, and let's get a look at this and see how this is going to work. So this, I don't know if you can see, is a Raspberry Pi 3 case from KKSB. Okay, so if what I'm saying is true, the Tinkerboard should work perfectly within this case, which was in fact designed for a Raspberry Pi. So if I put that in there, now I have, of course, four screws that I'm going to screw in if I was doing this uh, as a, like a permanent installation, but just for the sake of our demonstration, we can see that the holes do align up. See those? Okay, audio, HDMI, everything lines up. And how does everything else line up here? Let's put the cover on the case. I love KKSB cases, by the way. These are, uh, these are steel cases, not aluminum, and uh, they are very high quality. So that is a Tinkerboard S now inside a Raspberry Pi 3 case from KKSB. And look at how beautiful that looks. That is perfect. Isn't that nice? So we have links for all of these products. Um, if you'd like to support the show or if you just want an easy way to get these, go to cat5.tv slash tinkerboard. And we're going to have the case. We're going to have the boards as well, plus the links to Ameridroid, the coupon codes, everything else. I'm going to jump over to, uh, to the set here. Bring it with me. Yeah. Let's 
Give there it a go. look. So head on over to cat5.tv slash tinkerboard to check these out. Um, when we come back from a quick break, we're going to actually plug this in. I'm going to fire it up and we're going to see how it performs right after this. For a limited time, get your hands on limited edition shirts from the Category 5 TV network. These high quality shirts are manufactured by Teespring, a fundraising website, and your purchase will help support the shows we produce. Get yours today and send us your pictures to be featured on the corresponding show. Visit cat5.tv slash shirts to support us and get your official network shirt today. cat5.tv slash shirts. Welcome back. This is Category 5 Technology TV, and today we are looking at the Asus Tinkerboard, and we've got the Tinkerboard S as well, and I've fired it up with Tinker OS. So just during the break there, we plugged it in there. It only took about 10 seconds, yes. right, if anyone asks. Yeah, it was quick. Yeah. Oh, Very absolutely. Um, <laughs> so I downloaded it from their website. I flashed it to an SD card just for the sake of the show, just be able to plug it in uh, because we have never tested this. We just unboxed it for you and have fired it up. So let's jump over to the ASUS Tinkerboard on Tinker OS. And here we are in uh, April 2019. This is what it looks like. Um, so first of all, as a Linux user, it looks like uh, LXDE mm. right out of the box and looks great. Yeah, I mean, super responsive. Now, I'm looking at the ASUS Tinkerboard 2 gigabyte here today. Um, and, of course, the, um, the S is going to be more powerful. So, out of the box, we have just generic kind of tools. We've got Vim on there, like a text editor, uh, calculator, which is calculator. And I, say, I do say that with like a, oh, Linux. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just call it calculator, shall we? <laughs> uh, under education, we've got Scratch, Scratch GPIO, uh, Internet, what do we have? We have Chromium. This is all out of the box, okay. folks. I haven't installed anything. VNC Viewer. Under programming, we've got uh, Idle, which is Python, Scratch again, and Sound and Video. We've got a media player, system tools. So let's, uh, let's jump up to... You know, if we jump into Chrome, just to kind of gauge how things run. Now, with this device, of course, this is a, a single board computer, and it literally is like what you see is what you get. I've just plugged in HDMI and power and a micro SD card, and I've got a, a wireless dongle for my mouse. So, right. um, so you can you can connect everything together and, and boot it up, and you're you're good to go. So whether you plug that into a TV via HDMI, if you plug that into a computer screen, it becomes a computer, whatever you want to use it for. So it's got the GPIO. You can connect things like um, just like you can with a Raspberry Pi, if you want to. You become a maker and start doing like LED lights is a good place to start. I think that's a really great uh, spot to start, and uh, and then take it from there. But it's a lot more powerful than uh, than you know like a Raspberry Pi, and I, I hate to say that because I know I, like I, but everybody right. that's the that's the, that is the baseline. Yeah. Like Raspberry Pi has created a baseline. So what we're looking at is a board that is the same form factor. It operates much the same way. It uses the same kind of software. It's got the same kind of GPIO, but it's a lot faster. Right. It's got twice as much RAM, and it operates really, really well. So ASUS doesn't quite have the, I mean, they, they by far do not have the same community as, say, Raspberry Pi. Right. They don't have the same kind of open source community that you would find in, like, Pine64. Right. Um, and, and it's growing, but it's, it's not quite there yet. So we can become a part of that by by purchasing one of these getting up and running and and playing around so over the next little while we're going to start to see some benchmarks coming in 
Right. Uh, our giggle scores are going to start coming in with NEMS Linux. Um, if you're interested in seeing how these kind of boards, um, these single board computers benchmark against one another, you can head over to nemslinux.com slash stats and you'll be able to see each of these boards and how they're performing and how they stack up. So a giggle score shows you the value for the money. And speaking of, we do have a coupon which really plays into that. Yes. Um, so you can actually save $25 off of the cost of the Asus Tinkerboard uh, S, right. which is the, the, the model that has the Bluetooth, has the EMMC built in. So I'm going to post the links for you below in the description so that you've got access to those. Um, and uh, all the information is available at our website, cat5.tv slash Tinkerboard. So out of the box, not a lot comes pre-installed, but of course this is Linux, and the S has a 16 gigabyte um, eMMC, and of course either board you can plug in a uh, an SD card, micro SD, and uh, that gives you extra space as well, and so you can install pretty much anything you like. So what package manager do we have here? Do we have anything? File manager, we've got HTOP. What do we have under preferences? Let's see. Synaptic Package Manager. So we have Synaptic already installed. So this is a Debian-based um, OS. It's asking me for a password, which I can get off of. Uh, now, I installed Tinker OS, uh, so I'm going to grab that password from them, and then I'm going to be able to install anything from the repository. So that can be right. games. That can be anything at all. Right. Cool Very stuff. Cool. Very cool. Um, so we're going to be looking at those in the next little while. Of course, the comparisons are... Um, Awesome over on nemslinux.com uh, stats. I love the comparisons. I love seeing um, how each board stacks up. And when we look at the giggle score, which is the value for the money versus the performance, which is really what we're interested in with these boards as well, uh, we're going to be able to see. So that coupon that you get, that does that? Score. That's going to affect the giggle score. Yeah, that's going to increase the giggle score. Like it'll make it better. It's going to decrease. Decrease. Yeah. Which means Low the lower it is, the, the better, better the value. So it'll, yeah. So when you consider you apply a coupon, which is to save you money and now all of a sudden the value for uh, for the cost mm -hmm. is way better than it is at full price especially right. when you're saving 25 bucks that's huge so you can pick up your asus tinkerboard at cat5.tv slash tinkerboard